What's going on guys? This is Spas. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about real estate market, about market, about prices everywhere in Antalya and Turkey in general. First of all, let me tell you that the law which requires $600,000 investment for getting citizenship in Turkey, it's not in effect yet. So if you spend $400,000, you can apply for citizenship. Most likely you'll get granted. Uh, the other thing is people, some real estate companies try to push to change the law and lower the limit for residency to 100,000. That did not go, that did not fly. Probably nothing will change until we have some elections in March. Maybe after that something will be changing, but I don't think right now any politician want to go into arguing any particular sensitive issue. So don't expect any changes as far as the prices i think the rental prices went way down from the top right now you can rent something really decent for about 600 dollars per month uh, pretty much anywhere in antalya or lower than that also the prices of real estate more or less stabilized some people say that in alania prices came down quite a bit one can buy one bedroom apartment in Alania now for 60,000. I don't know, personally, I have not seen any of that. It's just a secondhand information, which I've heard from some other people. And uh, if you're looking for something, even in a closed Mahalesis, such as Hurma, Sarisu, Konyalti, or any other one, uh, which is closed, you can get pretty decent prices there too, provided you don't need to apply for residency. You're not looking for residency. Right now, residency is pretty tough to get, and uh, I would say that it's pretty much a waste of time to apply for it because hardly anybody who is new is granted. But people who have been living here for a while, many of them granted. Also, many of them are denied. Who knows how the policy works? I don't know. I'm just reporting you how it is. The other thing is prices really, really climbing up. The minimal salary now in Turkey and the government salaries they're in the neighborhood of $600 per month, which is a lot more than it's used to. Considering the inflation and inflation will eat into that kind of price, into that kind of salary shortly, it probably will come down. It will not be as high, but for now it is. And that drives prices up pretty much everywhere from the markets to stores and everywhere else. The spread is incredible. If you go to the uh, seaside and walk on the seaside walk you will see the prices that people charge 30 lira for tea for just a regular cup of tea it never was more than half a dollar for it uh, usually lower than that but right now it's over a dollar which is incredible it's just a tea and water you don't even have to brew it's not coffee and coffee is more expensive coffee if you go to lara and i just recently been to lara and i'm gonna put some footage in this video to show you how lara looks lara is spectacular coffee in lara will run you about three dollars that's what it was for me maybe not everywhere because prices are not even but on the other hand if you're really in the need of tea and sometimes we all are you can go to a cafe close to some kind of a mosque and usually prices there are lower yesterday i was in a cafe near the mosque it's probably smoky really smoky uh, but uh, any other place would be quite a walk and i was near the mosque so i went to the uh, cafe there tea was six lira per glass and that is very very low i don't think you can find anywhere else prices like that as far as prices for food, for instance, if you go to the market, 150 gram of shawarma or durum or shawarma, depending on where you're from and how you call it. Uh, if you go and order 150 grams, it will run you about 100 lira, which is roughly $3, 3 euros, somewhere in that neighborhood. And it's a pretty decent shawarma, durum. I usually go there maybe like once a month or twice twice a month to get it. It's what really feels like Turkey, the real Turkey, the market environment, people haggling over prices, and you go and get some shawarma, it's great. As far as uh, other prices, 
In Liman and Sarisu area, there are still a lot of construction going on. But I think if you are on the market for something, close to March, you probably will be in a good shape to buy something. I think prices will be more in a regular, normal level. I'm Vas, welcome to my channel. Good luck to you. I hope you're going to have a great new year. All the best.